Hi again, welcome to the second lesson in arcs and sectors. Today we're going to look at length of an arc. Now it's a very, very similar idea to the one we've looked at just there with area of a sector and as such you'll actually recognise a lot of differences here because it's the same kind of thing we're doing. So as a reminder, the area of the sector we looked at, the sector was that whole shape there. A whole piece of pie that's been taken out. Now the arc we're looking for is just a bit around the edge. So before, this will work as a bit of a recap, when we were looking for sector, a sector area, we were looking for a little fraction of the area of a circle. Now that's just a recap from last video. But may I say, now what we are looking at now it's not a little bit of the area, but a little bit of the circumference. So that there, that bit going round the outside, isn't a bit of the area, it's a little bit of that whole way around. So if we're looking for the arc length, it's going to still be the same idea. We're still looking for that fraction, the same way we look for the fraction of the area. But it's not of pi r squared, because that's the area of a circle. We're looking for a fraction of the circumference which we know we get by doing pi times d, where d is the diameter. Now, it's a very, very similar idea. You can see that, it almost looks almost exactly the same, which is why it makes it a little bit tricky, but we have to be right on top of what we're finding. So there, page one of your notes, your arc length is equal to the fraction that you have <laughs> multiplied by pi d. So a little part of the circumference. Okay, and I'll put it just a wee bit. You know, this is awful similar to what I've just done, but just for your benefit of your notes. Okay. Now we'll do the same again. We'll do an example. Maybe two, I can't remember. Yeah, two examples. And then I'll leave you a couple as well. So, very similar example to last time, but this time we're not looking for the area of the sector, we're looking for the length of the arc. So arc length is equal to the fraction that I have multiplied by pi d. So the angle I have is 72 out of 360, or the fraction I have, and I'm multiplying that by pi times the diameter. Okay, so that's 6 centimetres it goes from the edge of, the, of this circle, we've taken a piece out to the middle, we want the whole way across, so it's going to be 72 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 12. Unrounded answers for the enemies of the SQA it will be 7.53982 and so on. And let's do it to three sig figs. There's one, there's two, there's three. We're looking at the next one. We'll round us up. So 7.54. And because this is just a length, it's the length of the arc, we're just talking about basic centimetres. Example two, you may recognise as well. We're looking for the length of the major arc, and just like the sector, we have a minor arc that's a small one created by that sector, and then we have a major arc around the other side. It's the long way around. So we're looking for the major, the length of the major arc. So we're going to use the bigger thing there. So arc length. Same again, is theta over 360, that's a fraction that we have, but this time it's of the circumference. Here, we know from the last video that theta is not 110, it's 360, subtract 110, so 250. We can use that, so 250 over 360 times pi, and then the diameter. 8.3 only goes to the middle, we want the diameter, which is the whole way across. So it's going to be 16.6. I'm not squaring anything, because it's just pi d. And we type it in our calculator, and we get the big minging answer, 36.21558 and so on. Three sig figs, one, two, three, one all round down. So it's going to be 36.2 minutes meters this time. Okay, so very similar to last time, similar idea. You just have to make sure if you're finding the arc length, you're using part of the circumference. So it'll be pi d. Oh, things up there. And 
the same for if you find a sector area it's pi r squared so be sure of the difference you'll get the practice for that in class there's two examples for you i'll maybe pause it now and i'll put the answer answers up in a wee second there you go and similar to last time if you're not getting 377 make sure you're using the right angle okay thank you very much Thank you.